Hello, hello, it's Nan. I recently purchased some stickers and like many of us do, I decided I want to use the packaging. So I'm going to create a tag for my December journal. And I've already gone ahead and glued down some coffee dyed paper. I distressed all around it. Added my ribbon because this one has a wire in it, so it tends to be a little hard and you sort of have to keep pulling on it, pulling it out this way, pulling it just to get this one in there. I don't know if anyone else has trouble doing that, but I did have trouble doing that. So, And I didn't want to interrupt the tag once I created it, trying to get this on there. So I've already prepped that. I found some two-ply napkins thrifting. And I know it's not fall any longer. We're in winter. Full steam ahead. It's very, very cold. So I'm assuming we'll have some snow pretty soon. Last year we didn't. Last year we had snow for Christmas. This year, no snow for Christmas. So I'm sure pretty soon that'll be coming down. But I like the red in the napkin, so I decided I wanted to try it for today's spread. And also I got these as a gift from Amazon. They're the Dictionary Library series and they come in several books and they just contained a whole bunch of diff dictionary definitions that I am excited about these. So I have bits and pieces here that I want to somehow put all together and see what I come up with. So with glue in hand, here I go. So I'd like to get this napkin down first. I'm going to push these items aside. And I'm going to glue the card in this area because I know it's not going to cover the whole tag, but I want the coffee dip paper to sort of stick out in the bottom so it can be seen. And I know napkins could be tricky, but I find that if I just place it down very lightly and spread out carefully, I won't get too many lumps in there. And sometimes I get none at all, as I managed to do that at this moment. Okay, let's get this down. And I'm just going to cut the excess off. On both sides. Once I'm finished with the card, I will give it a little stitching in some in some of the areas on the card, maybe not on the whole thing. We'll see how that turns out. And wherever you see something popping up, just glue it down. Okay, looks nice so far. Now I watched a video by G.I. Care, and I, forgive me if I'm not pronouncing, pronouncing your name right, but um, I love it. I just love using the cheesecloth. She had a great way of using it on her, on her little hidden clips. So I've decided I think I'm going to incorporate this in many of the items that I create. So I wanted this right here because that's where my focal point will be right in the middle of the tag so I'm just going to lay that there no fuss I won't be scrunching it too much because I do want it to pop out on the sides there's something about ribbon and lace just coming out from the sides of the things that I make that I like a lot. And then I'm going to glue down this little leaf that I cut out from the napkin. Oh, I tore it. Let's see if I can save it. 
which I hope I can. Those are the moments that you think, oh, what can I do to save it? I'll figure it out. So, and since this is for my journal, I'm not gonna cry too loud. So I will put the leaf there. And let's see what I can do to save that little piece. Okay, my leaf goes down okay there. Just got to be a little gentle. And there we go. <laughs> Love it. I managed to save it. And you can't even tell I tore it. Bingo. Love it. Nice so far. Okay, so I wanted to add a piece of lace on top of the cheesecloth. And I'm using that glue because I'm going to give it a stitch around. So I'm not going to be too particular about how much glue I add to it to keep it down because once you sew, the stitch will hold things in place. Then I do want to add a piece of this burlap. Let's see if I can keep it together without it falling apart. Then I will do it at this angle. Maybe lift it up just a little higher on this side. Oh, my fingers are sticky. I have Marks all over my nails. I was busy yesterday creating a lot of little scrappy things. So on top of this is where I'm going to add. The word I chose was cheer, which says, to make somebody feel more cheerful, confident, or optimistic, to express or feel enthusiasm for something, to give a loud shout of happiness or approval. Well, don't get me started because I think I am going to give a shout out. And that is to my two sons. I did receive gifts for Christmas. This isn't the only thing, but I'm in love with my new scissor. Thank you very much. It's working perfect. Although on my first try, I cut my finger. That's how sharp it is. I love it. So I want to put my dictionary definition here on this piece of coffee dyed paper. Let me bring it down just a tiny bit. Because on the top there, I'm going to put this little tiny, teeny piece of coffee dyed paper to make it look like it has a little tiny teeny banner tab on the top. And move it around. Just let it straight. There we go. Love it. And then I will take this and I will be liberal on the glue because this piece, I'm not sure if the stitching will reach over to it. So I want that to adhere properly and to stay put, I think it will reach. So there we go. Let's see if it's on there straight. Yes. Kind of cute. You can leave it like that or just keep going. And that's what I plan to do. I plan to keep going. So next, I have, I took a piece of the napkin and I glued cut out one of the leaves and glued it onto a piece of cardstock so that I would adhere nicely on the top here. So it's going to go right here in this corner. Let's see, I want it a little sideways. There we go. And then on top of that is where my little word's going to go. So I have been using my Ranger Rec Distress Ink on that. 
its vintage photo. It's my favorite one of all of them. And I do like my work to look kind of grungy. Okay, so that is going to go all on a piece of cheesecloth. I'm going to turn that a little bit sideways so it sticks out. And then put a little bit of glue here where the word's going to go. And add that right there. It's cute. Look at that. I could have probably put another little piece of paper underneath it to give it more stability. But it looks okay like that. So far so good. I can still keep going if I want to add more, which I will. I have this seal, wax seal that I created a while back. And I know that I tried some of my Elmer's glue on it, but it didn't want to stick. So I'm going to add a little bit of this tacky glue and just add it to it. I have several of these already pre-made so that I can use whenever I wanted to create. So I'm going to put the seal. Maybe I'll put it this way so the bee's facing the other way. I know we're in winter and I'm using a bee, but I thought the colors coordinated well. That's why I added that one. And I just did purchase my little wax warmer so that I can start giving that a go. I've been just using this to heat up my wax with a little candle. But I think the warmer is going to make it a lot easier. So there is the wax seal. Pretty so far, but I think I'm not finished. I'm going to add... Just a few more touches, which I do want to add today's date on there. I usually use my stamps, but I have a drawer here, which I keep all my calendar pieces in little plastic bags. I love them. Pull it out and pull pieces out whenever I need to use them. So I will put the date right here. And then I want to actually put the day of the week. I purchased many calendars. I've also thrifted them. So I have a lot of these little pieces lying around. And I will put this one down here. So far, so good. I guess you can add all the little little pieces that you might want to add in there. This would be nice right there because it says admit one. And it's a Tim Holt stamp on a piece of paper studio paper. Not sure that looks a little too much. But I think for now, my tag is perfect for my December journal for today. And the cheesecloth that I'm using is unbleached cheesecloth. I got a Hobby Lobby. Gorgeous. So, I also want to share with you some other little little thingies that I made last night with my scrap stash which I keep my tins full of scrap I also have some plastic containers with a lot also here's one this is with with a a packaging piece also just layered things upon each other to make a little cluster tag let me, let me remove this so you can see that better. There's one. There's two. I have this one I made last night also. A little simpler. And I have this one that I made last night. A bunch of little scrap pieces. 
I have bags full of material and scraps. I thought of adding something on top of here, which I don't know yet, so I'll give it its finished finishing touch at some other point. Then I created this one, which is also from a packaging piece. Layered ice items, bunch of scrap pieces there. Came out really pretty. And this one, calendar piece also, that could become a side tag. Also, a bunch of little scrap pieces on there. And there is my tag, my tabs, and this one here I made out of a coin envelope. I cut it in half and used the bottom portion. So I can add a little card in there if I wish to, a little piece of paper, and then put that on the top of the page, put it on the bottom of the page, middle of the page, side of the page. It can be a tag, it can be, I can add another a clip here, another piece of paper if I want to make it a paper clip also. And there we go. Thank you for joining me. Have a good day, and I hope you'll come back.